is the good word? Hey, Jamie, how are you? Well, doing well, but what I want to know is what is the best teeny of the week? All right, let's talk about it. Well, I wanted to do a classic cocktail, but my take on it. And I'm doing a blood and sand, uh, and that so cocktail was back in the 30s. It was made, uh, named after Bruno Valentino's full body movie called Blood and Sand. Okay. And it's made with uh, blood orange juice, scotch, fortified wine, and my change on it is I put habanero noodles in there. Make it a little bit different. Okay, yeah. I like that. I love spice, so right. you, you know, got me. And you know, scotch, most of the time people just take an ice cube and do their scotch. Sure. But we wanted to do something different and you can have a cocktail with it because you can drink any cocktails if you know the right way to do it. Sure. Absolutely. All right, let's go for it. Uh, so, we're going to take our scotch, which is a American scotch that's made in Washington State. Okay. Uh, and it's put in oak. American oak barrels. Now they say that Washington State climate is the closest to the highlands that it can get because of all the ocean and things that go that get it the closest to the Scotland. Oh, okay. And it's made with American barley and it's a single malt. So let's give that a try. And Excellent. Wear. Okay, Excellent. very good. Interesting. All right, so we put the shot in there. Okay. All right. Then we're going to move on to our Antica. Antica is an Italian vermouth. Fortified wine, and it's got heavy in cherry, raisin, mint, vanilla, and it adds a nice little take, smoothing things out with scotch on here. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good so far. Antica. Now, what my little take is the difference is the uh, bitterman's uh, habanero bitters is what I use. Okay. So I use a little. Of that because you want to have some good flavor with the hot, but you don't want to be overpowered on the hot. Okay, so our last thing we add in is the blood, which would be the blood orange juice. Now, you want to use a good blood orange juice, you don't want to use anything out of the can. You get a fresh one or squeeze your own if you're inclined to do that. So, what would you say the difference between like a regular orange and a blood orange, other than the color, obviously? Color, but yes, like, yeah, what. Well, it's, it's interesting. The blood orange is going to be a little little sweet, but it's going to be a little bit tangier, too. It's okay. got a, it, 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 that's its game in orange juice. Okay. And sometimes right. I think orange juice is just kind of like that, you know? Yeah. This is, is great. I mean, it's, it helps with the scotch as well. We're bringing it all together. And now we shake. And I always say shake vigorously. Okay. I like it. It's a beautiful drink, and I think all the flavors really come together with it. Go. And then you want to top it off with a little bit of orange peel. And when you do this, it's when you get all the juices out, the oils come out when you twist it like yes. this. Okay. And, then you want to... and there you oh, go. Beautiful. Arinda caliente. Hey. Enjoy. Good. Wow. Man, like that? that is excellent. Oh, Oh no, I really do. And you know what I like too about it being uh, shaken like that is just the baby shorts and the uh, cool ice that you can take. Oh, and you want to have that little slight of ice.